Locks in place, nice dirty reload. Add ammo, secondary. Reholster. Okay, so today we're gonna be talking about a new modular bracket system for your belts, for your Molle, for carrying gear in general. Uh, these were brought to my attention by Jay Reese, a local Utah nerfer. He is very well versed in real steel firearms and competition carry. And so he brought to my attention these brackets. These brackets uh, are designed by Blade Tech, and there's other knockoff ones out there, but what they are is high quality brackets for your mole or your belt that have holes in it that you can use to make your attachments connect to them, no matter what system you have. As long as the hole spacing is the same, you can connect to it. All you need is gear that have the hole spacing and the hardware for it, and then you can mount all sorts of things to it for a quick swappable loadout. So it comes in a mole version that you can just clip on, easy to take off. So if you're playing a game, say you're playing a competitive game, you've got your half-length high-powered springers, but then the game changes from a competitive game to a more casual game, and you, run, you want to run a spring thunder. Now the issue is I've got all my mags on me, I've got mag holders, and the traditional mag holders are really hard to get off. Um, you have to unloop your belt, loop your belt on, or the mole, a lot of mole clips are really tight. Uh, so it can be difficult to kind of loop them around. Now you have speed clips or fast clips for your mole, which allow you to kind of put your accessory on and then put the clip in or out, but those are usually not as rigid. Now these are real steel firearm hardware. So you've got durability and the strength and rigidity to keep your gear where you want it, when you want it. They just clip on for the mole. Now the belt is really amazing. So you've got your mag holders, you're going to the next game, you want to switch your loadout, you can just Pop them right off your belt. Um, and then I want to run, you know, a Spring Thunder. Quick swap, you've got your shells ready to go. Pew, 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 reload, all sorts of good jazz there. Very modular, very quick swappable. This is the, the gear that I've always wanted and dreamed of as a kid. Um, I've designed my own mag holders that I still have here, um, but they you have to slide on. In order to get them to be rigid, you have to make them tight which means you have to undo your entire belt, unloop it, take off your buckle, slide it all the way off, slide it on, and then say you want to then rearrange, you have to do it all again. It takes a lot of time. It takes 20 minutes between rounds, 30 minutes between rounds to do that, or you're gonna have two separate loadouts. So you have one vest for half link darts, one vest for spring thunder, one vest for something else, and that just means you have to buy multiple sets of everything, multiple vests, multiple uh, you know, holders, and they get expensive. However, with this system here, you just buy one bracket, and then if you want, you can even be a screwdriver, unscrew it, mount something else, or if you have the cash, you can just have one holder per mag holder, and you're ready to go. I don't run a secondary very often. In a competitive game, your primary jams, you don't usually have the advantage if you switch to your secondary. It's better to sometimes take a hit, respawn real quick. So if you don't like to run a secondary, you can either pop off. Now this one's got two methods. You've got your thumb release, you can slide it off and slide on more mags. Or if you don't have this thumb release, all you have is a bracket, you can just detach the belt bracket and there you go. You're ready to swap out loadouts, play around. A lot of times you have a loadout you like in certain situations, but as soon as the game changes, scenario changes, you want to change your loadout on the fly. And you get really good at running what gear you have in every situation but now you have the option to switch out your gear in different situations. So sky's the limit. So you have your primary, you reload with your offhand, put your mags in. Wow, these are also new mag carriers. I'm not used to the orientation. So you're reloading like that. And then you have a sling. So you, you drop your primary, hold your secondary, and you reload with your offhand. And you just quick swap. That way you've got what you want, where do you want it at all times. And if you want to move it around, you have the freedom to just swap things around. We have mag holders. These particular holders are designed by Anzulages, um, but they've been modified by Jay Reese to have those bouncing points and he change the geometry a little bit to make it easier to wear. Um, we have 
shell caddies. Now these are just a simple clip-on system. However, a typical caddy is a sliding set. Really easy, you just design anything, put some holes in it, and you got brackets ready to go. Here we have a Lepus magnetic holster by Jackrabbit Nerfer. Very convenient. Um, and then we have a handful of other modular attachments on the way. If there's something you want to see, let us know because this is great. This is like as modular as it gets and it's like a first of its kind. So we have the belt bracket. I like to call it a bracket because that's kind of what it is. It just clips on your belt. It's called a tech lock by Blade Tech. If you can, uh, if you have a good belt, it actually, the, a lot of the rigidity comes from a sturdy belt. So this belt is not the best, but these actually come with these tabs that you can adjust for different sizes of belts. Here's one. Another one where it just clips onto your belt. Then you have these quick release uh, brackets. Uh, Blade Tech calls them TMMSs. I don't know what that stands for. Thumb something something. But it's just modular. So you have these panels that you push with your thumb. You pull up. Then you can swap things out. Um, and then you have the Stingray belt loop. Now this is designed to be more rigid um, on your belt. It really helps if you have a a bigger figure to keep it locked in and a quality belt um, but they're actually designed to keep a small gap between your waist and the holster so you can more easily reach things without having to be too close in to your body uh, so those are the main ones we've got the belt we have the mole tabs and then we have these brackets which are used to attach to the other belt brackets the belt brackets and the mole loops the mole brackets Super quick, super easy, locks into place. So much easier than trying to get a fast tab in there or loop it around your belt. I've already swapped out these things like two dozen times and switching out your gear used to be a headache. Now it's very clean, very easy.